Hey guys, what's up? Ben Quintero here from uh, Honeydew Homestead. I, I don't, I don't even know how to start this one. I don't. We got a lot to do. We've got a lot to do. All of a sudden, things are sailing. We're we're shutting things down. The season's getting a little cool, you know. Everything's fine, and then bam! <laughs> Frost is about to hit. So we have some things we have to do first thing i want to head over to the garden i thought the garden was done we were <laughs> i was shutting down i was closing everything down pulling things up we still have some things in the garden that we need to do i'll show you what's going on i don't know if any of it's salvageable but it's still super interesting and i'm going to bring you along all right let's get to it it never fails. Literally the second I come out here and turn on the camera, the, the clouds open up and I get these weird streaks of sunlight right over the garden. Anyways, <laughs> what is going on here, guys? Okay, so let me explain to you what this is here. <laughs> I had some potatoes that I thought, okay, they were, they were starting to grow, some eyes on them, they were getting a little bit soft. Um, I want to say there were like some Yukons, maybe, maybe some baby reds. Honestly, I don't even remember and they're hard to tell right now because the plants are so small. I, <laughs> I planted these things in the ground. I planted them deep because my hope was that it was getting cooler. They were just going to sit down there and do nothing and maybe really start to sprout up in the spring. I was doing the sort of Irish potato method of planting. Did not work. Clearly did not work because they are sprouting. They are ready. Now granted, here's the problem. We've been having a lot of warm days. I mean, we are in December right now, and we are having a lot of really warm days, and, and it just keeps going back and forth. It's hot for a few days, it's cold for a few days. It's hot, then we get some frost, and the garden just does not know what to do with that. Clearly, because now I've got potatoes growing in December. What I don't know what I'm going to do. We need to figure something out um, with that also. I've got peppers in the garden that I need to take out, right? But I don't want to just completely gut them out of the garden. So what I'm going to try to do is take some of that compost that I sifted in my previous video. And I'm going to try to save some of these peppers, see if I can bring them into the garage. Hopefully things are going to get cold in the garage, but they're not at least going to suffer frost or freeze. These pots are actually the ones I got from the euphorbia plants that I just planted in the front uh, earlier in the fall. So once again, save your pots guys. My garage is insulated. The garage door and the walls are all insulated. Um, but it's not heated or conditioned. So I'm hoping there's enough there between the garage being attached to the house and some of that heat emanating through the garage, as well as um, just, you know, the garage itself being insulated. I'm hoping that's really gonna slow down that, that process of, of the garage getting so cold that it gets into literally freezing temperatures. We'll see. We'll see if the garage is enough to help these plants survive through the winter. If you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm mixing in some of that clay in the subsoil with some very, very uh, composted wood chips to create just a good base mix down at the bottom that's gonna hold some moisture, but it's still gonna drain very well. Remember, we don't need to water this a lot. We just need to keep the, the roots moist. We won't know the answer to that until the spring possibly, but uh, if you wanna know the answer, definitely do 
hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you think that I can get these peppers to survive in just the garage alone? I do have windows in the garage, so there will be sunlight, but I'm cutting all the leaves off of the peppers. Let me know what you think. Again, comment down below, drop me a like, and definitely subscribe so you'll get that update whenever it does happen. All right, we've got a lot more to do, so let's keep going. Rinse and repeat. Still have more peppers out here, but I think I'm gonna leave those alone. I have enough for now, and I think I'll be okay. In other news, this is pretty exciting. Can you see it? There's one right there, one right there. There's more over here. I think this might be one right here. And there's more all along here. We've got garlic getting ready, forming those buds, forming those roots. Seeing those little garlic buds popping up is giving me a lot of hope that we might get something in the spring. That would be really cool. This would be the first time actually that I've ever grown garlic before. And it's the first time I've ever tried to overwinter anything. Obviously I tried with the potatoes, not doing so hot there. But as you saw, I do have some peppers that I'm leaving in the ground. If they survive, they survive. If they don't, which they probably won't, then they don't. Because I've saved, I think enough. I, we grew so many peppers. We had such a bumper crop of peppers this year. We have multiple, multiple gallon bags of just frozen peppers. And so I think we're good. <laughs> I think we're good. We, we eat a lot of peppers, but I don't know if we eat that many peppers. I guess we'll find out in the new year if, if just a handful of plants is going to be enough to hold us over. Actually, let me show you how that turned out. So there they are. I'm just letting them drain out before I put them on the, uh, on the garden rack. But uh, those are the ones we're keeping this year. You might have noticed there was one that I was really struggling with. The roots are probably very deep and very wide on that particular one. It's got a trunk like a tree. I'm gonna see if it survives. I think that would be great <laughs> if we could get a, a pepper to survive through the winter. I, I don't think it's gonna happen. We're actually expected to have a pretty harsh winter this year. So it doesn't have a lot going for it right now. All right. So first of all, we got some onions here. They're they're not they're not doing too bad. We don't want them to get too big because we're definitely getting into the cold seasons. This is the first time again I've ever tried planting through the winter, so we'll see how that turns out. Also, 
here we go. <clears throat> We've got some spinach popping up here. Um, we've got some spinach there and it's popping up, but obviously we've got some frost and those guys are pretty tender I don't know if they're gonna survive Man this year this year's been rough, but uh, I might still try to build that cold frame and see if I can at least protect some of the spinach Get it to last a little bit longer. I know spinach tends to be pretty hardy I don't know if it's gonna be hardy at this age because it's literally it's like tiny little things you saw it's just barely getting rid of its uh, true leaves yeah I haven't decided what to do with that yet but until I do I guess I'm gonna leave it here <laughs> and as always you guys be good to each other and uh, I'll see you on the next one I found